This seems a really enchanting script. Is that what you felt when you read it? Oh, I loved it. I was really honoured to be asked to be part of it. It was, uh, you know, it's these are not nice times that we're living in. You know, globally, it's it's all having a bit of a meltdown, and and particularly in, in Britain, we're known for our cynicism. And I think this is just a very big-hearted, very lovely script that makes everybody sort of look for the happiness inside themselves. And when you read the part that you're, that you're playing, well, what, can I... interestingly, I, I just met Peter in Los Angeles, and he said, he said, this is totally not your part. This is not how I see you. But would you like to play pathetic Jane? And I was like, I've never played anybody pathetic in my life. How exciting! And he said, look, you know, she is pathetic. And so we we spoke we spoke quite a few times um, when I got back to London on Skype, and I found my inner patheticness. And this character is a very passive aggressive pathetic. You know, those sort of people that come across as very pathetic, but actually quite manipulative. And, and uh, Jane kind of pushes him over the edge, really. And w working with Peter, he's written the script as well as directing it. So does that, does that help you as, as an actor? Or was, it, was he quite free for you to maybe be more organic with him? I think when you work with somebody like Peter, he's such an actor's director. He's wonderful with actors, and he he, he knew this script inside out. And he gives you the the chance to. And I've, I've been a huge fan of his. Funny Bones is one of my favourite films. Uh, he gives you the chance to find who the character is, but because he knows it so well, he doesn't feel um, threatened by you suggesting things. But he just gently guides you through it. And it was a privilege working with him. And of course, I'd worked with Simon on Big Train all those years ago. So to sort of see him you know, evolve into the A-list star that he is and what, see his work again close at hand was brilliant.